Hey YouTube, it's Chris, Harriet Pipes, hope everyone's doing well. I'm just having a mid-morning uh, break after having finished some pipes, um, which are gonna put away and ship off respectively. Um, so I thought I'd show them to you. I'm smoking my little apple shop pipe with um, Cornell and Deals by Morning Flake, which, uh, if you watch me, you know, is a firm favourite. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, some, some pipes to show. I've, I've had a, two commissions to replicate that um, rusticated love it with um, the uh, green stem and the boxwood accent rings. So I've completed those. Um, and I was making another one. Uh, to put on the website but uh, the briar gods were against me and there was a a fault in the shank towards the sort of the stem end so I've turned that into a billiard so it's a billiard with the same sort of effect uh, that's just gone on the website and then uh, a smooth love it as well uh, with some nice bird's eye so um, let me show you uh, what I've done so yeah the first one of these, I think, it was this one. Yes, um, the the first uh, attempt didn't work. I had a a fault come in the in the chamber when I was right near the end. I didn't notice it until the the stain went on and just kind of went straight through into the chamber. Um, then when I ran my finger down, I could I couldn't see it before, but I now now I knew it was there. I could feel it. Uh, so uh, the guy in America, who this is for. It's been very patient while I've made it twice. <laughs> Such is life. There we go. And then there's a chap in the UK uh, wanted one as well. Nice guy. And he also asked me for a, a second stem, which uh, it's not always fun to do as a pipe maker because when you, um, the process that I do for making uh, my pipes is I, I make the diameter of the stem and then I fit the wooden shank to the to the stem uh, on the on the French wheel and, and by filing and so uh, making two that fit exactly correctly is is, is not easy but uh, with the Eldritch stock uh, resin it seems to be a bit softer than the briar so um, you can get a really close fit for a second stem which is, is useful uh, it's a new discovery for me this week but I can't show you that second stem because it's a the guy wants it to be a surprise. He let me choose the the stem material uh, and color, etc. So that's those two guys, and then the sort of the failed love it, which is now a billiard up on the website. I think it's quite nice. Um, this one I did with the teal, uh, which looks really quite blue on this camera, but it's it's got a slightly more green, a proper teal color, you know, uh, to it. So all was not lost with this guy. And it's always good to have a billiard on the on the website, so I'm quite happy. And then finally, uh, this nice uh, smooth love it. It's not a perfect cross cut on the block, um, but some very nice bird's eye and grain overall. And show you a bit there you go this is my second go on this video the the phone uh crapped out on me so this is now needing another wax <laughs> but yeah it's been really hot here in france it's uh bearable today but the moment you try and do anything sort of remotely uh active gardening or in the garden whatever like not even taxing you know you're you're in pools of sweat, so um, it's nice to be in the workshop where it's kind of an even 18 degrees. It's over, been 30 plus, 30 to 40 degrees outside. So I'm a bit tired today because sleeping is not easy. But today, once I've got these pipes packed up and away, um, I've got to work on that. Um, didn't like that very well. There we go. To work on that Zulu I've got on commission. 
which is uh, nowhere near, but you get the idea. Still a lot of work to do here. Create the oval shank and then it's panels. So uh, yeah, panels on a Zulu could be fun. I think I'm gonna run them down the stem. Yeah, make a real feature of them. We'll see how I get on. So that's today's project. And then uh, hopefully if I get sort of a decent uh, progression on that, start making some more pipes. I'm trying to build a stock up at the minute um, for my pipe shows starting beginning of next year. I now have um, nearly, you never have all the machinery you need or want, but uh, I now have my new um, French wheel set up. Got all the stuff back from the uh, from the machinist now and then spent day before yesterday wiring the motor to the variator the variator to the switch building a box to catch the dust running the suction um to the new box and uh, yeah bruno came around and helped me uh, an awful lot with that because I'm, I'm not very good at electrics not very confident with it um and uh, yeah, it's all, it's all working and great now. So I think it's gonna make me a lot more uh, efficient and I'm gonna enjoy the wheel side of things a lot more because my old setup had had it. I could literally put my finger on it and stop the wheel. So <laughs> it's nice to have something with a bit of power. So uh, yeah, um, that, uh, that Zulu is gonna get some uh, wheel action shortly and try and make it into a nice shape before I panel it and then get in touch with Eddie and find out what he wants for the stem because uh, I think he's got a couple of ideas depending on uh, whether it's a smooth or a blast so I think it could be a smooth looking at the grain so barring any uh, little pits or anything that would make it imperfect for a smooth um, yeah it's looking good so that's that um i'll leave you all to your uh to your start of your week and your monday and if you're interested in either of those two pipes that i've got up on the website they're up already um so you can check that out it's uh, www.heriotpipes.com all right take care take care everyone all the best